greetings and welcome. I am Spicy Chicken Spicy Boy with a spicy chicken review for you today. Now, we're headed back to a pizza place uh, known as Pizza Hut. And I did a, a previous review where I tried out the Burnin' Hot Boneless Buffalo Wings and the Nashville Hot uh, wings, uh, which I think the Nashville style have been discontinued, but I thought I'd continue here in the spicy boneless chicken wing family, uh, from Pizza Hut with the other two items that appear to be of the spicy variety. So what we've got in these boneless wings here, we've got the Cajun style dry rub as well as the spicy garlic. And that kind of rounds out what I believe to be the spicy options from Pizza Hut that are currently on the menu. So you've got the, the buffalo and now the discontinued Nashville Burning Hot and Cajun style and spicy garlic. So those are really the options for spicy chicken at Pizza Hut. Now they have some other wing flavors. Um, that I honestly didn't look too closely at. Uh, it's unlikely I would order a non-spicy wing from Pizza Hut, so I just didn't really spend a lot of time or brain energy on that. I just went ahead, got the spicy chicken, and that's where I'm going to go with it. So, we're going to start um, with the garlic, I think, today. Then we'll move on to the Cajun, because I'm thinking the Cajun could be spicier and you don't want all of your spice senses to be just overwhelmed by spice when you're trying two flavors in a row. But as always, we're going to be looking at the general quality of the chicken, um, how well it's fried, sauce coverage, flavors, aromas. Um, you know, going to just be taking my general impressions into account, kind of a mental note comparison about how this compares to other boneless chicken I've had, etc. You know, I'm just going to let the whole experience um, wash over me and just see what I think about this spicy chicken. So, let's start with the garlic. Um, during delivery, they got a little smooshed, but hopefully the, the chicken inside is unsmooshed. Oh, it's looking okay. So... Ooh, I can smell a real level of spice hitting my nostrils. can feel it almost, really, more than smell it with this spicy garlic. So there is plenty of sauce in here. Let's get a little close-up for the kids. Got some spicy garlic boneless chicken there. Oh, you can see the sauce flowing through the packaging. So there is enough sauce in here, that's for sure. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, like I said... It smells whew, spicy, so I'm hoping for some good heat here. I'm going to try just a little guy first. I'm just going to take a little dab of that sauce because I have some, I have some questions. So, you know, <clears throat> it is a bit garlicky. It is a bit spicy. But that sharpness in the nostril, that was really a vinegar scent. Um, it is not as spicy as your nose might lead you to believe. So, the flavor is pretty good. It's not overpoweringly garlicky. So, I mean, if you are like a true garlic head, this is not going to be like the most garlicky thing that you've eaten this week, probably. But, it's pretty garlicky. And there is, you know, the spice level is not super high. I'd say this is a tangier uh, 
sauce than it is a spicy sauce. There is a little bit of heat, but what I would say, you know, I'd say this is like a three out of 10 or, or thereabouts in terms of a, in terms of a spice level. So some heat, but not incredibly spicy. Uh, though I will say I do think it tastes pretty good. Um, the, the chicken pieces in there are not too bad. I think you get some nice little pieces of chicken. Um, they're pretty heavily breaded. So before the frying, there is a pretty generous coating of the breading material put on there. But all in all, I, I really don't have any complaints about those boneless wings. I mean, as we all know, boneless wings are not wings, but they were boneless and they were chicken and they tasted pretty good. So I'd give them a, you know, these are like a six and a half, seven. These are pretty good wings. I'm, I'm, I've got no complaints, you know, from Pizza Hut and, uh, you know, they've got, you know, deals where you can get them for cheaper sometimes. I think these are a fine product to accompany a Pizza Hut pizza. So moving on to the Cajun style. Now, if I'm looking at the logos here, the, the spicy garlic had a little flame on the sticker. You can't really see that. Now the Cajun style has a little picture of a chili pepper on the sticker. So I don't know if that means it's hotter than fire or if that's less hot than fire, but there is a difference in the logo. And the Cajun dry rub, so what you've really got here, you've got your boneless pieces and you've got your dry rub sprinkled about on top of the... Uh, chicken pieces so it does have that you know kind of louisiana scent maybe a little cayenne in there uh, definitely some black pepper you know variety of spices for sure so you got a, got a piece here i'm gonna go ahead and take a couple bites Well, my first impression, <clears throat> it's, it's on the salty side, so be advised, this chicken, which probably already has a little salt in the breading, gets a little more salt on it with this uh, Cajun sprinkle, this dry rub, so to speak. Um, Cajun dry rub's alright, it's not particularly spicy, um... There's a, there's a little bit of heat there, though. I mean, it's it's as spicy as the garlic, but I wouldn't say it's more spicy by any means. Um, maybe this would come out better, or differently, at the very least, on a regular wing, where it was dry rubbed on some chicken skin. Maybe you'd get a different flavor effect. Um, but it tastes, you know, kind of like a... It's, it's really not all that spicy. It reminds me of like a curly fry seasoning. Or you might get some like steak cut fries with some stuff sprinkled on them that's red. It's kind of like that kind of seasoning. So I'm not getting like a big Cajun punch. My mouth doesn't feel like I'm down in the bayou. It's just, you know, it's a little bit spicy. It's a little bit peppery. Um, You know... I guess this is Pizza Hut, not well known for its Cajun or Louisiana heritage and roots. So perhaps they, this is just the closest approximation, approximation that they could come up with um, in their test kitchen, wherever that is. So, you know, not bad. Uh, but I was hoping for a little more heat. When you put the, put the word Cajun... In the, in the name of an item, I feel like that should mean something. And one of the things that should mean is some actual heat 
in the dish. And it's just not that spicy. Um, I think it tastes okay. A little on the salty side, but not bad. So, at some point, I will uh, try the bone-in version of all of these wings to see how the preparation differs for everybody. Um, and so, you know, subscribe. If you want to see that future Pizza Hut bone-in wing video, which will be coming eventually. You know, I just don't order Pizza Hut often enough to, you know, crank out a Pizza Hut video every time. But eventually those wings are going to get sampled and reviewed right here. So go ahead and subscribe for that. Um, overall, I think I kind of liked the garlic better. I like that sauce. It was not super hot, but it did taste pretty good. Especially on like a breaded chicken piece like this, like a little mini tender is basically what these are. Um, I thought the sauce was really good to kind of moisten it up and it was, it was a good mouth experience for me. And, and with that, that's about all I'm going to say about these boneless wings. Um, you know, hit me with a like if you found the video informative, uh, or entertaining in any way, you know, uh, you go ahead and, uh, hit me with a like even if you didn't, it doesn't bother me. Um, and, and with that, you know, that's the end of the review and just let me know in the comments down below if there are any other reviews you'd be interested in seeing. Um... Whether they be local Twin Cities places that you know of, that's where I'm, I'm located here mostly, and also national chains. If there's some spicy chicken out there you would like a review of and you're not brave enough to brave that situation yourself, I'm willing to test any chicken, good or bad, uh, preferably spicy, but I, I'm, I'm in it to win it. For the spicy chicken. So with that, I'm going to thank everybody. I hope you're all doing out, doing well out there. Um, and you know, I appreciate you coming in to watch the videos here and I just hope you can all keep keeping it spicy. Thanks.